फ्रेंड्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक समथिंग अबाउट नॉर्मल एंड अब नॉर्मल हीमोग्लोबिन्स सो बिफोर गोइंग टू सी द नॉर्मल अब नॉर्मल हीमोग्लोबिन्स वी वुड लाइक टू शो व्हाट इज द हीमोग्लोबिन हीमोग्लोबिन इज अ टाइप ऑफ प्रोटीन व्हिच इज हैविंग द आयरन दिस हीमोग्लोबिन इज प्रेजेंट इन द आर hemoglobin is responsible for carrying the oxygen throughout that body so that means it carries the oxygen to the tissues abnormal levels may indicate anemia or any other blood disorders so for example some anemia is iron related anemia some may be sickle cell related anemia or some may be thalassemia iron deficiency is the most common cause of the low hemoglobin levels in the population so when compared with other disease related disorder related uh, anemia iron deficiency iron related anemia is the more uh, problematic and more prevalent also so hemoglobin structure hemoglobin as i told it is a protein it is made up of four globin chains these globin chains are alpha beta gamma and delta so beta 1 beta 2 alpha 1 alpha 2 this iron is here and heme fe plus 2 heme you can see in this so there are different forms of the hemoglobin so what is the main aim of this hemoglobin this hemoglobin is useful in the transport of oxygen mainly to the determined by the globin chains so different globin chains will have different efficiency of transporting oxygen the normal hemoglobin types include hemoglobin a hemoglobin f and hemoglobin a2 so why these are there are different hemoglobins means different life history stages will have different different hemoglobins and different oxygen requirement and different uh, globin chains also so for example if you see this hba this is adult hemoglobin or the normal hemoglobin this is a major normal hemoglobin two alpha and two beta globin chains are present in this approximately 90 to 95% of the hemoglobin belongs to this particular group the second hemoglobin is the fetal hemoglobin this is present mainly in the fetal stages as the adult stages uh, in the adult individual it will be approximately 2 to 3% so if you see the composition of the gamma globin chains two alpha two gamma chains can be seen in this hemoglobin see another normal hemoglobin is hemoglobin a2 hemoglobin a2 two alpha two delta globin chains can be seen in normal individuals this is less than four so generally this alpha thalassemia a2 um, hemoglobin level used as a uh, criteria diagnostic criteria for identifying the beta thalassemia phenotypes so generally its percentage is less than 4 in a population in individuals so this slide shows you about different hemoglobins here one group of hemoglobins is known as adult and fetal hemoglobins second group is known as embryonic hemoglobins so if you see the embryonic hemoglobins generally i told you earlier that four types of globin chains alpha beta gamma and delta these are the adult hemoglobins globin chains so in case of the embryonic hemoglobins you can see that four different embryonic hemoglobins hemoglobin goer 1 goer 2 portland 1 portland 2 so if you observe clearly the globin chains that are present in these hemoglobins varies so goer 1 2 ε 2 zeta goer 2 2 ε and 2 α portland 1 2 gamma and 2 zeta portland 2 2 beta and 2 zeta there is different hemoglobins will have different globin chains whereas as i discussed earlier the adult or fetal hemoglobins you can see alpha beta delta gamma combinations so alpha hemoglobin a 2 alpha 2 beta 
hemoglobin F2 gamma to alpha, hemoglobin A to 2 delta and to alpha. So this is uh, different uh, hemoglobins. So in this alpha globin gene cluster, beta globin gene cluster like that you can divide the among or uh, this all subunits or the six globin chains can be divided into two groups beta globin gene cluster and alpha globin gene cluster alpha globin gene cluster you can see that uh, zeta and alpha are in the alpha gene cluster and beta gene cluster you can see that beta gamma delta and epsilon so these are the different uh, hemoglobin chains so this slide shows you about the transition of different hemoglobin chains or the globin chains that are present in different life history stages. So the vertical dotted line shows you about the birth time. So this region is the before birth and this region is the after birth. So before birth if you see, you can see that uh, alpha is the major globin chain and gamma also is major. This alpha and this gamma will give rise to the fetal hemoglobin. That means before birth you can find fetal hemoglobin at higher level. So the alpha and beta give rise to the adult hemoglobin. This is uh, very less. Immediately after the birth you can see start raising this one and this will be dominating this one. So after birth the fetal hemoglobin will be slowly replaced by the gamma uh, beta globin chains that means adult hemoglobin. So the fetal hemoglobin that means gamma chain slowly is coming down and reaches to the 4%. So that means adult individual more than one hand of year old will not have more than 2 to 3% of the fetal hemoglobin levels. So if you see the embryonic stages, as I told you that GoR1, GoR2, Portland 1, Portland 2, these are all in combination with uh, alpha and beta chains, epsilon and zeta chains, epsilon and zeta chains will form the GoR1, GoR2, Portland 1 and Portland 2. So these will disappear and then fetal will be dominating. After the birth, you can see that adult will be dominating. So if you see the synthesis, the synthesis at the embryonic stages, yolk sac is a major hemoglobin synthetic uh, site. Followed by in the fetal stages, liver and spleen are the dominating sites for the synthesis of the hemoglobin. In adult stages, bone marrow is the major site of synthesis for the hemoglobin. So you can see this, there is an interesting thing. The delta chain synthesis starts only after the birth, that means this alpha and this delta give rise to A2, hemoglobin A2. Hemoglobin A2 is an indicator for the beta thalassemia. So now we see the genes that are located on different chromosomes and we majorly divide this into the alpha and zeta as the H alpha gene cluster beta, delta, gamma, epsilon as one group that is located on the chromosome number 11 and alpha and gypsa, alpha and zeta are located on chromosome number 16. The amino acids also you see this 146 amino acid beta gene cluster, 141 amino acid uh, the alpha and zeta. So as I told you earlier, the previous uh, graph it shows you that uh, alpha is present in the fetal and adult stages, zeta is also present in the early embryonic and yolk sac. Epsilon is present only in the embryonic yolk sac. So now we see that uh, one by one normal hemoglobins. Hemoglobin A contains two alpha and two beta protein chains. 95 to 98 percent of the hemoglobin is found in adults is this type of hemoglobin. So adult hemoglobin is the major dominating hemoglobin. Next one is the hemoglobin A2. As I told you earlier hemoglobin A2 is synthesized only after the birth. So it is containing only two different chains that two alpha and two delta 
and its percentage will not be generally more than 4 in the population. If it is more than 4, then you can say that uh, HbA2 level is the more than 4, then indicates the beta thalassemia carrier kind of uh, phenotypes. So it is synthesized after birth, but what is it? Its level is very less, and what for it is synthesized? Its biological importance is not known. However, A2 levels can be used to determine or to diagnose the beta thalassemia carrier like phenotypes. So, hemoglobin F, this is called as F indicates the fetal. Hemoglobin S has two alpha and two gamma chains. 2 alpha and 2 gamma chains. It is mainly produced by the fetus during the pregnancy. That means during fetus stage it is produced and before birth this is the one of the dominating or the major hemoglobins that are present in the body. Its production falls after the birth and reaches 1 to 2 percent in adults by the age of 1 to 2 years. By the time they reach this one. That means you can see that two different switches. One is embryonic to the fetal, fetal to the adult two different clear cut switches can be seen in the hemoglobin synthesis. So this slide shows you about abnormal hemoglobin variants, hemoglobin S, hemoglobin C, hemoglobin E and hemoglobin O. So that means till now we have discussed the three normal hemoglobins, hemoglobin A, hemoglobin A2 and hemoglobin F. Here Hemoglobin S means sickle hemoglobin is a beta chain and 6th amino acid. HBC it is present only in the African region. It is also occurring at 6th codon of the beta globin HBB gene. And you can see the difference between sickle and HBS. Sickle there is a middle nucleotide changed A2T and whereas uh, this HBC uh, disease is caused by the change of the first nucleotide G to A, G A G change it to A A G. It is a small fraction of the African populations having this particular mutation. This also will give the sickling positive if you do the sickle cell disease. There is another mutation H B E. This occurs at the twenty sixth amino acid of the beta globin gene. So this occurs because of the G A G is changed to G A A G. Yet 26th amino acid. Lysine, glutamate to lysine, GAG to AAG, this is the mainly occurring. HBO Arab, so that means some of the hemoglobin variants that are caused by the mutations are arranged in some particular population or otherwise it is restricted to particular population or it has been first identified in that population. That's why they are named after that particular region like that HBO Arab you can see this. This is the mutation at 121 um, codon amino acid of the HBB gene glutamate to lysine. GAA is changed to triple A. That means first nucleotide is changed to A. So here the red letter shows the mutations, different different mutations that are occurring in the this one. So because of the mutation at nucleotide level, change at the nucleotide level, you can see the change in the RNA, mRNA, and it is been it will be translated further into the protein level. You can see the amino acid sequence of beta globin chain. So the other hemoglobin variants, so these are all named after uh, different places where it has been identified, it has been prevalent in that particular region. HBS, this is the normal sickle mutation, that is a glutamate to valin. HBC, Harlem, it is present in the Africa, 73, uh, this is the other one, uh, 73 amino acid uh, as per into this one. And... Uh, different places it has been identified as been. So this picture shows you about the prevalence of uh, or uh, presence of different hemoglobin variants in different regions. So you see the sickle cell anemia. Sickle cell anemia is present in Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Maharashtra, Gujarat regions and these regions you can see that they are present on the Tropic of Cancer. Tropic of Cancer and in the major part of the Africa you can see the sickle cell disease and this particular black patch is the HBC disease 
and you can see that hbd is located only in the punjab region that's why it is called as hbd punjab and hb is present in the northeast region and southeast asian countries that means here the bengal bangladesh and uh, sumatra malaya java region so you can find this particular hemoglobin so this is the hbe these are the different hbe so thalassemia is almost spread throughout the region so you can find thalassemia is another kind of disease where the hemoglobin synthesis is hampered so the synthesis of the hemoglobin itself is uh, that is a synthetic change so hb c or hbd hb e or hbs these are all structural changes changes because of the mutation or change in the amino acid so now we see that uh, few abnormal hemoglobin such as hbd hbe like that HBD is caused by the substitution of glutamate for the glutamic acid at 121 position of the beta globin chain. So 121 position, substitution of glutamine for the glutamic acid. So several variants of HBD are identified in different places. They are indicated by suffixing the region. So for instance, HBD, HBD Punjab. HBD Punjab means it is identified in Punjab. That's why it is called as Punjab. HBD on electrophoresis moves along with the HBS. That's why that HBD and HBS is present uh, in a single region. Differentiating is very difficult. Again, you have to go for uh, the HPLC or otherwise more advanced technique to diagnose the same. Generally, in Chhattisgarh, we may not find the HBD. Maharashtra, we may not find it. HBD is located in the Punjab region and sickle cell is located on the Tropic of Cancer. Some parts of the uh, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Gujarat, Tamil Nadu, some of the tribes and uh, uh, Attapadi region of uh, the Kerala, we can find this. So it is not a problem for us uh, because of the D. So HV is characterized by the replacement of glutamate by lysine at 26th position of beta globin gene. Most common abnormal hemoglobin after HBS. So HBS is the major, after HBS it is the, it is the major one. And most common abnormal hemoglobin of Southeast Asian region and also in the West Bengal region. HBE in either homozygous condition or in the heterozygous condition, there will not be showing any um, clinical manifestation. So now we coming to the hemoglobin S. Yes, hemoglobin 2 normal alpha globin chains to abnormal beta globin chains will be there if one abnormal globin chain is there that is called as trait or carrier if two abnormal hemoglobin chains are there that means sixth amino acid or the sixth codon you can find two copies are defective then you can say that the sickle cell anemia or sickle cell disease so this picture shows you about gag gag is the codon at the sixth amino acid sixth codon in this the middle nucleotide a is changed to t that's why it changes the amino acid glutamate from the valine so in the normal codon codes for the glutamate glutamate is the negatively charged highly negatively charged whereas the valine is less negatively charged you can say that almost non-polar amino acid so because of this change in glutamate to valine the entire property of the hemoglobin is changed so the normal hemoglobin will be highly negatively charged whereas uh, the valine containing amino hemoglobin is less negatively charged because of uh, the changes in the charge you can use this particular principle in designing some of the diagnostic test for this uh, sickle cell hemoglobin thank you very much uh, please share uh, if you like this particular lecture. Thank you.